Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with MRTK. In the previous videos, I show you how to integrate MRTK with iOS. I also show you how to make it work with Android. And lastly, we looked at the HoloLens. So today I'm really excited because we're going to be using a device that I really like, and that is the Oculus Quest. I'm also going to be showing you what you need to do to make it work with the help of a plugin that a fellow developer created with name Eric. So Eric, thank you for doing that. I really appreciate what you did on that repo. I had a lot of fun, so I wanna make sure that people know who the creator is. I'm also gonna be putting that GitHub location in the description of this video so you guys can download it. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at what we need to do. Thank you guys. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and enable the link. So I have my USB 2.0 connected, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select it to open up the Oculus Rift experience. It's gonna open the Oculus Rift. You're gonna see that that's what we're seeing. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and click play. And we should be able to see the scene in the Oculus Quest, which is what we see now, but except that the UI is all the way on the bottom. So I'm just gonna bring it close to me so that we can see it. And you can see that everything works. If, if I want to interact with those, I can. I can also you know, rotate on the Y axis if I like to want to rotate in a different axis, I can. I can also, if I wanted to resize it, we can resize it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it over there. So I'm gonna bring the planet close to me. I'm gonna use my left hand this, in this case. We can move it, I can rotate it. I can look at the inner core, outer core, mantle in the cross. So everything is just so smooth. And I also wanted to thank Eric for doing this. He's the one that put it, this and made it work with MRTK. So thank you, Eric, for doing that. I'm gonna put in his information in the description of this video. So if I wanna use the sliders, you can see that I'm changing the color of the of that 3D object. I can also change the green and then the blue. We can also interact with these physics objects. You can see how it's basically you know, colliding. We can also grab that other object and things are just working. I can also touch the piano. And if I wanted to bring the piano close to me, I can by just you know, selecting the UI. And now we can interact with you know, touches. So I could touch it there. I can also do the same thing with buttons. I can also do the same thing with the slider and bring it up and down. And I can, I can also touch these little 3D objects in here. So I'm gonna bring it, just push it back a little bit more so that we can interact with other objects. I can bring this in, that's working. Let me go ahead and bring it a little bit closer and just to show you that the sliders work. If I interact with the sliders on the UI, that works. And let me bring it a little bit closer to me so we can see more of it. We can also use the UI components. You can see U GUI, it's working. I can select option B and then that works and also some more UI components. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at some of the information that Eric provided in the documentation. So he has everything laid out and specifically what needs to be done. Make sure that you have Unity 2019.4.0 F1. I ended up downloading that version. So if we go into my Unity Hub installs, that is the version that I downloaded as well, in addition to you know the million versions that I have. So make sure you download that. That's It's available in the archives on Unity. The other option that we're going to need is going to be the Oculus integration. And he says here that you need to go into the Unity Asset Store, but the Unity Asset Store currently have version 18. So if you want to download version 17, all you need to do, and I'm going to be putting this in the link of the description of this video, is you need to go into this link and then just change the version here. We're gonna go from 18 to 17 because that's the version that Eric support right now. And then once you go to that link, it's going to give you, you know, the option here to download it. And once you download it, it's going to give you the package. And I believe I already have the package. So if I go into my downloads in here, I already have the Oculus integration. So I don't need to really download it again. So just make sure you download it from here. Once you get that and you get Unity, you're gonna need the Mixed Reality Toolkit. This Mixed Reality Toolkit is going to be MRTK, right? That is something that if you already have, you can use that version. But in my case, I'm going to be using the option that he has, which is the sub-module. Basically, there's a command that you can add to get clone, and it's going to be, it's going to get any of the sub-modules that are in that repo that are necessary. In this case, it's gonna be MRTK. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this command. And we're gonna be starting from scratch. I already went through this exercise a couple of times but I want to save you some time. So we're gonna do get, I think I already pasted it. So this 
command here is what's going to tell the repo to grab any, any, basically any dependencies to that repository, which in this case is going to be MRTK. If you don't want to do that and you want to do it manually, you can also download and clone MRTK manually. I went with this option because I want to make sure that everything works with the version that he has. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and hit enter. And then that's going to be cloning the repo. All right, guys, so it looks like this already finished. So I'm going to go into the folder where we clone it and then go into external. We're going to double click on this bat file, which is going to create a sim link. The reason for that is because the MRTK, it's going to be located here, but we need to tell the assets folder that there's going to be a link to MRTK. So that's going to be creating a sim link. So I'm going to go here and because we're running on Windows, I'm going to double click on the bat file. But if you were running on Mac OS or Linux, then you can double click on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the bat. And that's all we need to do. Once we have that, all we need to do is go into the Unity Hub. And if that doesn't show you MRTK quest already, just click on add and go to that folder and add it. I already have it. So let's just go ahead and double click it to open it. All right, guys, so it looks like we now have the project open and we're going to get an error. And that's because we haven't really imported the Oculus integration just yet. That's OK. I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply with to the MRTK prompt. And it's going to apply a couple settings that are needed for MRTK. And once that happens, I'm going to go ahead and go into my downloads. And remember that we downloaded the Oculus integration. We're going to now import it. So I'm going to double click on it. It's going to decompress and then we're going to be importing that into our project. Okay, so it looks like the compression finished, and now we're going to click on import. Okay, so it looks like the Oculus integration finished importing. We're going to be clicking yes here. It's going to ask you if you want to update the Oculus utilities. I did this before, so everything worked out. And it's going to say that you need to restart Unity. We're going to go ahead and say yes. And then let's go ahead and upgrade the Spatializer plugin. That's fine. And then click on restart. So it should open, it should close Unity, and then reopen it. And if everything works, we shouldn't see any errors like the ones that we saw when we first opened the, the project. All right, guys, so it looks like everything is clean. We don't have any errors. Let's go ahead and click on the project and let's look at what we have. So by this time, you should have a mixed reality toolkit generated. It should also have the MRTK folder here. This is the same link that Eric was talking about in his, in his instructions. And then also the third party. So this is going to be what Eric created in order for people to interact with MRTK by using the quest. So if you look at the quest, this is going to be all of his implementation. And you can also look at the examples. This is what I was spending some time before to look, look at. And double click on one of those. It's going to tell you to if you want to import TextMesh Pro. We're going to say yes because he's using it in there in a lot of places. And once it's done, it should, you know, it should now have that grayed out, meaning that it's already installed. And now if we get close, you're going to see that the whole scene is in there. And this is a scene that I built in the beginning of the video. So I know that this, this is working, this is working well. And he also has another one here called extra. I haven't really looked at that one, but this is one I believe has the teleporting option that he added recently. So I'm going to be looking at this one next for now. I just know that there is another one where there's different inter interactions. I think he was saying that there was a Spider-Man type interaction that you can use with your hands and basically it'll teleport you to a different area. And then there's also another one for development. These are features that he's probably working on. So I haven't really looked at these two, but if you want to look at them, just take a look at that. And then the last thing that I want to mention is if you want to build these for Android, you can just change the target to Android and then just make sure you have the Android, the Android tools installed as part of Unity. So in my case, I install it. So if you go into the Unity Hub, it's gonna, I'm going to show you that pretty quick. And you can see that in here, if I look at and look at these three dots and click on Add Modules, you're going to see that I installed the Android build support and also the Android SDK and NDK tools, including OpenJDK. I always do this with Oculus Quest because that always works for me. So this is normally what I do at the beginning. Once you get that, then everything should work once you change it to Android. You can also look at my videos of pushing to the Oculus Quest. I have a lot of videos about that. But if you want to use the Oculus Link, you're going to have to use PC, Mac, and Linux because this is going to be using the Oculus application and it's going to be running the experience on your computer. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Thank you, guys.